Hey everybody, uh, in this lesson uh, we're going to be taking a look at how to solve for a conservation of momentum type problem, uh, specifically looking at an elastic collision. Um, in other words, in a collision in which the two objects will bounce off each other uh, once they collide. Okay, So let's take a look at our problem here. Uh, we have a 0.16 kilogram cue ball that is traveling at 2 meters per second, hits the 8 ball head on and bounces off. The 8 ball's mass is 0.18 kilograms and was initially at rest. If the 8 ball was traveling at 1.5 meters per second after the collision, what was the final velocity of the cue ball? Okay, and so um, when we deal, deal with these uh, conservation momentum problems, um, we're basic, we basically have the understanding that the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. Okay, and so in the equation, basically that would look something like this. Momentum um, has the val um, symbol lowercase p, and so our initial momentum has to equal our final momentum. Okay, and we should know that um, our equation for momentum is the mass times the velocity of the objects. Okay. And so here we have two different objects. Um, we have our cue ball and we have our eight ball. And so one of the things that um, I always teach my physics students is the most important thing is to read the problem carefully and to pick out the appropriate information carefully as well. Okay. And so because we're dealing with two objects, we want to kind of separate the information that we have for each object. So in this case, we know we have a 0.16 kilogram cue ball, and we know that it's traveling at two meters per second. Okay, that's its initial momentum. Okay, and as we read through the problem, um, our question here is, what was the final velocity of the cue ball? So that's all the information that we have for the cue ball, and then on the other hand, we have the eight ball. And we know that the eight ball's mass is 0.18 kilograms. It was initially at rest, so therefore it was not moving. Uh, and then after the collision, it was traveling at 1.5 meters per second. Okay. So here's how we break this down. Um, and, and here's what I like to do uh, when I do these conservation momentum problems. Because I know the initial total momentum has to equal the total final momentum, I like to split this right down right down the center so I can kind of set both of these sides equal to each other. Okay? And as we as we take a look at our momentum equation, mass times velocity, we have two objects and therefore we're going to need to know the mass and velocity of the cue ball and we're going to need to know the mass and velocity of the eight ball. Okay, Those two combined give us the total initial momentum. We need to know the same for the final momentum. So we're going to need to know the mass and velocity of the cue ball and the mass and velocity of the eight ball. Now once again, when we now have to apply this information, my um, cue ball information has to go with the cue ball information. Okay? And my eight ball information has to be plugged into my eight ball equations here. Okay? Um, so this is really, setting up the problem is the most important thing uh, in solving these conservation momentum type problems. Okay, being able to break it down like this, because um, now all we have to do is just plug in our information. Okay, the mass of my cue ball I know is 0 0.16 kilograms, and its velocity we know initially was 2.0 meters per second. Now that's going to get added to the mass of the eight ball, 0 0.18 kilograms. And we know that it was not moving, so it has a velocity of zero. Now on the other hand, 
the mass of our cue ball did not change. This is what tricks some students up um, because it's the same mass. Uh, we don't see it twice in the problem, but we know that we can use it twice because it's the same object. Okay? And we don't know our final velocity, so we're going to plug in VF there. Okay? We're going to add that to the mass of the 8-ball once again, 0.18 kilograms, and we know that its final velocity was 1.5 meters per second. Now at this point, it's just simply doing the calculations. Okay, 0 0.16 times 2.0, add that to 0, well, we get 0 0.32 as our total initial momentum. It has the um, units, newton seconds. Okay. Now on the other hand, we're going to be left with 0 0.16 times V plus... 0.18 times 1.5 gives me 0 0.27 newton seconds. Okay, now we got to simplify. Um, we want to get this v all by itself, so we're going to subtract 0 0.27 on both sides. That's going to get me 0 0.05 newton seconds is equal to my 0 0.16 V and then to get V all by itself we divide by 0 0.16 on both sides and when we go ahead and do this calculation our final velocity of the cue ball comes out to be 0 0.31 meters per second Okay, there you have it. Um, once again, the most uh, important part is setting up your problem carefully and plugging in the correct values for each object. Okay, hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in.